COVID-19 pandemic is a global health challenge. In response to it, U.S. states have implemented long pharmaceutical interventions and PIs to mitigate it, such as physical distance closures, mask mandates, and reopening business. To estimate the effect of NPIs, there are some methods in the epidemiological literature. Since the data is longitudinal data with standard adoption, Cauchy experiment designs are often used. So our goals are to use Cauchy experiment framework to account for confounding and estimate average treatment effect and heterogeneity of treatment effect. In our proposed method, the outcome measures are the effective reproduction number RT, which summarized the underlying mechanism of disease transmission. We also shift the calendar time to time since the first reported case to make the time scale more meaningful. To estimate our outcome RT, we use our proposed method survival convolution model. For the causal estimate, ATE, here are the two potential outcomes, and the intervention effect data days after T is the expectation of the difference between the two potential outcomes. Since we do not have enough data at one specific time t, our ATE is defined as the average over all possible time t. We have Sutava assumptions, and also we assume that there is no Almeria confounding. We used the nested case control design. For covariance, we included both the time invariant covariance, such as state-level demographics, SVI, and also time variant covariance, HIT. The ATE is estimated by inverse propensity score weighted the ID estimator. We use logistic regression to construct the propensity scores. For the conditional average treatment effects cut, the parameter can be obtained by solving estimating equation. Then let me show you the results. Here are the significant covariance in the propensity score model. And these maps show the observed RT difference seven days post-intervention and one day before. Darker color means stronger observed RT difference. These figures show our estimated ATE. We find that lockdown and reopening bus are significant, while mask mandate is not. For a cut, we didn't find any moderator, so these effects are universal. In conclusion, the lockdown has the largest effect on reducing transmission. Business reopen does not increase RT, but reopening bus needs to be carefully planned. Also, we should be careful in explaining the effect of mask, because mask mandate may not be the same as mask variant behavior. Here are the two papers that are involved in this presentation. Thank you.